You might have noticed that I'm constantly posting comics because I love comics and especially comics that actually teach you something. So today I'm going to share with you one of my very favorite comics that you know has actually changed my life in some ways. This comes from a book that's called Zen Speaks. Everything is empty. There was once a monk named Teshu who traveled the land meeting with all the best Zen masters. One day he wandered into Shokoku temple and happened upon the monk Dokuon. Here, he proudly proclaimed his level of enlightenment. The mind, the Buddha, and all beings are empty. The true nature of all beings is emptiness, no enlightenment, no delusion, no sages, no commoners, no toil, no reward. Boink! Ow! What did you do that for? If everything is empty, where did that temper come from? There's no good or evil, no suffering or pleasure, everything is empty. Even this sentence isn't worth saying to anyone. Teshu had only a superficial understanding of Zen. Now this story is one of my favorite stories because it actually portrays what a lot of us do. You know, a lot of us, like myself included, I practice meditation, I try to be calm, I try to be enlightened in some way or another. But what happens sometimes is life hits you. And then what happens? We get angry, we get depressed, we get, you know, upset about things that happen to us. But does that mean that we're truly enlightened? Does that mean we truly understood the lesson? Whenever I get into trouble and I feel upset, I go, okay, why is this affecting me? Where is this coming from? And if you think about it, most things come from your mind. If you think about a, a Zen gar garden, for example, is pretty much emptiness. If you think of a Zen living room, is an empty living room. If you think of a Zen bedroom, it would be just a bedroom with a bed. So if we think about Zen and emptiness and we empty our mind, then the goal of, of meditation is really to be in the moment, to be in the present. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you like the story. Please comment below if you think about what you think about it. And if you like more stories like this, I would love to share with you. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do. So please let me know what you think and talk to you soon.